Right now, I'm going to school for business management. I guess, you know, it's the American dream to own your own business. So it's only right that I learn about entrepreneurships and things of that nature. Uh, I'm also uh, an artist, so I would like to fund my own record label. We knew we needed to address some of the barriers that the students were facing. Uh, we had done different things on the campus, developing different programs. We offered that more of an a la carte approach, um, and we wanted to centralize that effort. Uh, we have a 94% remediation rate on the campus, but these students also have other barriers like child care, bad credit, so they need credit counseling. They're not aware that the credit counseling is out there. Um, they, they can't pay their utility bills, family issues. Um, um, so we have developed different programs that can help those students to stay in school. Um, my major is Office Administration and Business. And um, right now I'm a work study student. I just started this semester also. After I graduated in 2005 from Pine Bluff High School, I actually didn't want to go to college. I, um, I wasn't interested in college, really, and I just immediately started working at a job. I have a um, one and a half year old daughter. She's very beautiful, that's my heart. And I, um, I had her in 2008, and that's my first child and my only child. And like I said, that's my pride and joy, I love her. We're here to help our students deal with their issues and their concerns, and to help them get stable and back in place where they should be. Uh, I was just released out of prison last year around August and I've been attending Sea Arc for the last two semesters since August. Um, I would like to thank the people that organized the center for us to come to to help us find jobs because it's hard for felons like me to reintegrate in the, in the community and, and trying to find jobs based off my past record. So we need these type of things to be established. We want them to know that the center is here to help them because one of the things that students will first do is probably think about, well, I need to stop going to classes, I need to withdraw from school, or I need to drop out of school. When some of their crisis situations that may arise can maybe be serviced through the center. Also by forming a partnership with the community service agencies, I'm able to connect our students where they can receive help with public benefits, professional counseling, housing benefits, uh, as well as job training and job placement. They are free to come in at any time, the door is always open, and sometimes it's not always a desperate need. Sometimes they need someone to listen. I've had students to come in to just talk about problems that they're having at home, or they just need encouragement. By the time they leave, they're much better, their attitude is different, they have a better outlook about their courses, being in school. And the same thing with phone calls. When I call them, they just can't believe that they've received a phone call from someone just saying, how are you doing today? Just call to see how are your class is going? Did you need any assistance with anything? If you was to look at me, you wouldn't be able to tell that I was a felon. But unfortunately, I, I made some mistakes in the past that show up on black and white. But I understand that it's gonna be a struggle, but you know, with people helping us, to get to the next level. I want to better myself for my child and so I can get a good career to take care of her and myself. Man, it's, it's a hard task, but you know, we stay in focus and we're able to focus on our dreams and pursue our dreams just by the little help that is given. So we do truly appreciate it.